What's going on guys? It's your boy John Liquidator coming back with another video and it looked like this Alabama situation is worse than we thought it was. Guys, for this one here, we got to go to Tuscaloosa. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> week when Nick Saban decided to hang it up with the Crimson Tide and coach it all together, we thought that the Alabama football team was going to be able to keep it all together, bruh. Do it for the fans. Well, it looked like they trying to, and these players is not trying to hear none of that because they're hitting the portal fast, and I'm here to tell you, the number is well over 20. Alabama players has left this football team. Now, they named Kalen Dunbar to be the next head coach, and it's looking like it ain't looking good for him either because it's being reported that Kalen Dunbar lack of SEC ties is quickly catching up to him in recruiting and players retention because they're leaving and he's having a hard time replacing these key spots with other SEC top notch Allen. A week ago, Nick Saban retired and the Crimson Tide hired Kalen Dunbar. But since then, five-star signing Ryan Williams immediately decommitted. Coach Tavarius Robinson left to go to UGA. Tried to hire Tavarius Robinson as the defensive coordinator, but he was denied twice. Ten players entered the portal. Star defensive back Antonio Kite transferred to a rival Auburn. Wide receiver star Isaiah Bond and tight end Amari back transferred to SEC rivals like Texas. They lost two future first round picks to the portal and Caitlin Proctor and Caleb Downs. And to add more talk to the injury, Caleb Downs just committed to Ohio State. Date, bruh. Alabama safety Caleb Downs entered the transfer portal Wednesday following the aftermath of head coach Nick Saban's retirement, but he has now chosen his next destination, deciding to take his talent to Columbus, Ohio, committing to play at Ohio State ahead of the 2024 season. The highly sought after high school recruit had a breakout freshman year for the Crimson Tide in 2023 and named the Sean Alexander Freshman of the Year, the SEC Freshman of the Year year and the SEC Newcomer of the Year. Downs also earned first-team All-SEC and freshman All-SEC honors and was named as first-team All-American by Pro Football Focus. Downs became the first Alabama freshman to lead the team in tackles in program history with 107, also adding in 3.5 tackles for loss, three pass breakups, two interceptions, and a forced fumble to his starting line, bruh. So it looked like Caleb Downs was a big piece in the Alabama defense and it also looked like FSU is not the only program that is benefiting from these Alabama players because Ohio State is definitely making noise and Caleb Downs is not the only player they got either. Now when it comes to them, it's being reported that Ohio State 2024 transfer class includes Caleb Downs, number one overall player, Quashon Juckins, number one running back, Will Howard, number 16 overall player, Seth McLovin, number six offensive lineman, Will Catmack, number 24 tight end. The Buckeyes also bring in the number one recruit in 2024 and that's jeremiah smith as well as a return multiple key players bruh so it looked like ohio state is stacking up to make a run for the natty for the 2024 season this whole situation with nick saban leaving has caused ripple effect for a whole lot of programs and a lot of programs is benefiting from it but unfortunately alabama is not and their future is looking 50 50 right now we're all all these players continuing to leave. Now, we're not trying to bash Alabama. I just want to bring y'all the news, but definitely get down in the comment section. Let me know y'all thoughts about this because it's more news come out about Alabama and their current situation. Trust me when I tell you, I'm going to talk about it. But like always, until next time, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out.